On this video, we will be answering the question of is diet soda bad for you and is diet coke better than coke? So what is diet soda? Depending on where you live, you might call it diet soda, diet coke, or my personal favorite, diet pop. In the context of this video, we are talking about carbonated beverages that are artificially sweetened to mimic the flavor of a regular soda, coke, or pop. These diet sodas are usually the light versions of a more popular drink. The appeal is that they sort of kind of taste like the real version, but have no calories and won't make you fat. Let's put that claim to the test and look at what the science has to say about is diet soda soda bad for you. First, diet soda is associated with weight gain. In a study of 3,682 people in San Antonio, Texas found that consuming diet soda doubled one's risk of being overweight or obese. In other studies, we see that replacing regular soda with diet soda doesn't lead to any more weight loss. So at least in observational studies, drinking diet soda does not help you lose weight. But health obviously isn't just about weight loss. Here are some of the other health problems diet soda is associated with. A 34% increase in metabolic syndrome, a 36 to 121% increased risk in developing type 2 diabetes, a 30% increased risk in developing depression, likely from the drink's effect on the microbiome, a 38% to 78% increased risk in having a preterm delivery, aka having your baby too soon. And finally, diet sodas are linked to poor dental health, including an increased risk in developing cavities and a yellowing of one's teeth. While these are observational studies, so not nearly as conclusive as, say, a meta-analysis, they are still studies we should pay close attention to. We also have seen some evidence that diet sodas can alter our gut flora in our microbiome. This could be the most damaging effect of diet soda, as your gut contains 80% of your immune system and controls the uptake of the nutrients you eat. And out of balanced gut will make it hard to lose weight, easy to get sick, drain your energy, and make getting healthy a very uphill battle. Eating a low calorie, low taste salad and not absorbing any of its nutrients is a pretty depressing thought. So let's answer a few common questions about diet soda. Is diet coke better than coke? Not really. As stated before, the main reason to drink diet soda is to reduce overall calorie intake and thus reduce weight. But the studies show that it does not have that effect. Is diet soda good for you? No. Were you watching this presentation? It certainly can't be described as good for you and there are no known health benefits. Does diet soda make you fat? Maybe. More research is needed, but from what the evidence says so far, it's certainly not going to help in the weight loss process. So, health nerd, is diet soda bad for you? Yes. Specifically because there are no upsides to drinking diet coke and only a ton of potential downsides. It's for that reason that diet soda is bad for your health and something you should not be consuming. What should I consume in instead, water, black coffee, apple cider vinegar, unsweetened teas, and the occasional carbonated water are the best drinks you can have. So trade in that diet soda for one of these and enjoy some better health. Before you go, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like and a short comment on the video, we'd really appreciate it. Do you call it soda, coke, or pop where you live? Let me know. Shout out to Gers1kh for suggesting this topic on the last video and getting the most upvotes in the comment section. And rumor has it, for every new subscriber we get, a cute baby walrus is born. So please subscribe to The Health Nerd for healthy tips and tricks backed by science. If weight loss is something you're interested in, you can also check out our online e-course, The Science of Fast Weight Loss. You can see the results from some of our past clients on that page and people we have worked with personally. Links will be in the description and on this screen. Cheers!